creating an accessible environment in pop-up library learning spaces. Librarians in a variety of settings often provide learning opportunities to patrons. For example, one-shot library instruction in an academic library, programming in a public library, or even a workshop at a corporate library. Pop-up library learning spaces refers to learning environments in which the librarian may be unfamiliar with the space and or the learners. In addition, the learners could be unfamiliar with the librarian, space, and or the other participants. These learning environments are not traditional classroom spaces. They lack the advantage of time to develop rapport and trust with students in order to understand and adapt to their le different learning abilities. Therefore, the pedagogy developed for the traditional classrooms doesn't translate to these library learning settings, especially traditional classrooms and library approaches to accessibility for patrons with disabilities. As a profession, we need to conduct formal research about these environments and create new frameworks for approaching teaching in them in order to provide effective service to patrons of all levels of ability. Our poster presents one possible framework for teaching in pop-up learning, pop-up library learning environments. We are specifically interested in making these environments accessible to patrons with disabilities or non-traditional learning styles. Instead of focusing on specific instructional methods, it suggests an iterative approach that frames the way a librarian interacts with students. These strategies will be presented in a three-pronged framework of preparation, observation, and action. The first prong of the framework is preparation, which is an ongoing process in which the teaching librarian is constantly developing and implementing knowledge and skills about accessibility. During preparation, a librarian may develop an accessibility kit that may contain items such as a mouse, a braille keyboard, headphones, a magnifying glass, tools to adjust furniture, a whiteboard with markers, notepads, index cards, etc. The librarian would bring this kit to help them take action during their teaching. Utilizing Universal Design for Learning, UDL, is another aspect of preparation. UDL is an approach to curriculum design that can help teachers customize curriculum to serve all learners, regardless of ability, disability, age, gender, or cultural and linguistic background. Teaching librarians can implement UDL when planning or designing the learning experience. UDL revolves around three central principles. Multiple means of representation, multiple means of action and expression, and multiple means of engagement. Another aspect of preparation could involve researching strategies to help learners with varying abilities in the classroom, especially if the librarian is a novice teacher for whom professional development could be very productive. This preparation could include research or training for working with learners with specific disabilities, but also broader pedagogical strategies. The second prong is observation. Observation is built upon an awareness that students have individual needs. From that foundation, the librarian can attempt to build an inclusive learning community in which students are comfortable articulating their learning needs, and the librarian has opportunities to assess the effectiveness of their teaching style. While building an environment in which students might be comfortable articulating their needs, Students should not be required to self-identify. This framework acknowledges the idea of disability passing, which refers to the way people conceal social markers of impairment to avoid the stigma of disability and pass as normal. While in the learning space, observation should allow the librarian to take action. While observation can be as simple as being observant in the learning space through watching and listening to the learners, it can also take the form of icebreaker activities that offer the teaching librarian time and opportunity to observe. A think-pair-share activity at the opening of the learning session is an example of building explicit opportunities for observation. The third prong consists of concrete actions taken to support the learning of individual students. These can take the form of changes in the librarian's teaching style or practical adaptations to the learning space, among other methods. Actions can, but don't have to be, sweeping changes to a teaching method. In fact, small adaptive responses, such as rephrasing a question or writing it on the whiteboard in addition to asking it aloud, can be incredibly effective actions that foster inclusion and participation in a variety of forms. Action can also include implementing items from the accessibility kit in any form to help a learner physically access the lesson. Actions are often unplanned because the learners and their learning needs, as well as the learning goals of the session, are always variable and changing. Remembering to take action and having the courage to do so with as little fuss as possible in order to avoid embarrassment to the learner is essential to creating an accessible learning environment. While the topic of accessibility in libraries has come to the forefront of the conversation surrounding how libraries serve all of their patrons, the intersection of the library as a learning space 
Educational pedagogy and accessibility poses unique challenges for teaching librarians. Additionally, the lack of professional literature on how teaching librarians should incorporate accessibility into their pedagogy is extremely problematic. As the topic of accessibility becomes more widely discussed in relation to our physical and digital spaces, it would behoove librarians and libraries to examine how accessible the learning spaces we provide actually are. Teaching librarians are often expected to have overlapping areas of expertise in fields such as teaching and information sciences. Thus, professional development and other learning opportunities that address how a teaching librarian can create an accessible learning environment are necessary to support both the librarian and the patron. In order to establish the usefulness of our proposed framework, further research needs to be done that investigates pop-up learning spaces and the best pedagogical strategies for teaching in them. Specifically, this poster suggests addressing these questions. How can we develop pedagogical strategies for pop-up learning spaces? How can we build rapport or community quickly in these, li in these library spaces? How can we transform these pop-up environments into brave spaces? How can we utilize our own varying abilities or disabilities as instructors?